spend on perishable groceries each week. With today's tight economy, job losses and pay cuts, everyone is looking for ways to cut expenses. While growing a kitchen garden has the potential to reduce the amount spent on groceries. However, this potential depends on the cost involved in growing the crops, types and amounts of vegetables grown, yields derived from the garden and other factors. Our reporter Paul Thiongo sought to find out some of the techniques you can use to grow your own vegetables around the confines of your home. Tucked in one of the corners are the grounds of the Ministry of Agriculture headquarters, Kilimo House in Nairobi, are 15 demo kitchen garden units. Even as we are setting up these kind of uh, technologies for anyone to and anyone who is willing to come and learn, for them to come and see which technology they can adapt. We have also, we shall also be supporting vulnerable households with seeds and also shadiness for them to be able to set up this kind of uh, as, uh, production units within the confines of their home. Depending on the amount of space available around your home, you have the choice of various techniques and these could be either a multi-story garden unit, raised moist beds, staircase garden or a star garden. If you are living in a, maybe say a story, that means it is not your own compound and maybe you don't see you, you lack space, enough space to do maybe crops or on, the, on the ground. So what we recommend that you can use what we call micro gardens. You can even use your dust beans, use your basins, you can use your pails, you can use even the two liter bottles. The idea here is that at least you can get some vegetables from your, from the, from your own source, even if you have to buy others so that you improve your diversity, thus will improve your nutrition security and on the other hand also you are improving your food security. While saving money may be one of the benefits to growing a vegetable garden, they are also a potential means to increase our confidence in food safety and security. As Kenyans, the consumption of fruits and vegetables is very low. But Kenyans, we are known to consume more of the starchy foods. And those ones bring us uh, all our related diseases, non-communicable diseases, the issue of hypertension, the diabetes, obesity. You can set up any of these types of kitchen gardens anywhere in your home, whether it's your rooftop, your balcony, or even the backyard of your kitchen. Remember, food is the first medicine. If you are in Nairobi now, because you'll buy soil and you'll buy manure, and obviously you'll buy the, the multi-story material that you want to use, that is either the net or the polythene, the polythene paper. It will cost you like around, around because the net is, uh, the net is around 1,000, and then the other materials, when you add them together, it can cost you around 5,000. Research and consider ways to reduce your inputs. Ani Nyaga says that the demo farm is open to the public every Wednesday, where you can go and learn from the technicians in charge. She is also encouraging parents to involve their children to encourage them to learn more about food production. The ministry is keen in reviving the agricultural clubs in our schools so that we can be very deliberate to introduce our children to uh, you know, uh, production at a very early age so that they can be able to you know, just know where food comes from, the process of growing food. And this is an effort to become food secure when, when, as they grow up, just getting them to learn how, how food production takes place and why is food production important and how they can be part of it. Paul Thiongo, KTN News.